Where was spirituality before Islam came to Africa? Where was spirituality before Christianity came to Africa? It was already there. Every black person in the world knows that spirituality has always been on that continent. And when I started my journey as entrepreneurship, sometimes when you're the loneliest is when you're the closest to God. I know some of you guys understand that feeling. When God is the only thing and the only person who understands the burden he just put on you, knowing that he's already built your core to carry that burden. And even in scripture, that's why he tells you in, in Islam, in the Quran, it tells you, where he tells you, he knows what's in front of you and what's behind you. Right? So it's just me grappling with spirituality in a way that, and now I'm like in such a good pace spiritually, and my sister and I laugh about it all the time, like I feel so spiritual. But I don't equate it to praying five times a day, going to seek prayer from a Marabu man, and I talk about all the African stuff. Uh, but I think Mama Africa has been blessed with spirituality, and I really do believe God is in all of us. And if you're doing work that is inspired, man, only God knows what the past four years has been for me. So when I say I see myself as an instrument of God, and it's not putting myself on a spiritual pedestal, it's just you're closest to him when you're the loneliest sometimes.